Welcome to our tutorial on the Whole Series tool. Let's go to Assembly Features and choose Whole Series. First, I'll select this surface. Let's zoom in a little bit. To position my hole, I'm going to create a line. It'll be between the center of this arc and the center of this arc. Right click and select. Now I'll select the line. Select for construction and control select this point. Let's add a coincident relationship. We positioned our hole in the correct spot, so let's click OK. We've got three more tabs here to explore. The first tab, the middle, and the last tab. Let's check on the first tab. Here we can choose from three types of holes. I'm going to choose countersink. Size, let's make it a quarter of an inch. The next tab is the middle section. It's obvious that we only have two parts, however, the first and the last part. So let's skip the middle part and go to the last part. Here we have a checkbox allowing auto sizing based on the start of the hole. Or we can choose a different hole size and type. Under end condition, let's choose through all. If we have some components in the way of the hole, but we don't want these components to be pierced by our hole, we're going to need to suppress these components before we activate the whole series. At this point, we're ready to click OK. And here is our hole. Let's expand this feature. Right here, we have the sketch, which is responsible for the position of the hole. Let's cancel and click OK. We'll discard the changes to the sketch. And this concludes our tutorial on the whole series tool.